Claydome. Good morning, Americans. My name is Jarvis Callahan, and today we're going to be going over the top story. Another day for Tom Ham and his pig. Joining me in the studio is Tom Phillips. <sighs> Tom, come on out here. Yeah. Good morning, Tom. How are you doing today, sir? You know, I am doing pretty dandy, Jarvis. Thank you for asking so much. It is an honor to be on the show with you today. That is stupendous, must, I must say. So, uh, going on with today's topic, another day for Tom Ham and his pig. It seems as though you have a link to this little scenario with Tom and his pig. Apparently they have been breaking into Canadian bacon factories to prevent many pigs from becoming their delicious counterparts that we all know and love. You know, Jarvis, I was actually thinking about that um, point earlier today. I was reading that in the news this morning. I was like, dang, that is actually very weird. A man with his pig invading different factories for ham? It's it's all over the place with the news. It's honestly very strange to me because who in the right mind takes their pig along with them to free more pigs from their factories to become food? It's, it's mind-boggling, to be honest. I honestly can't think of how many people in the world would do such a thing. It's crazy. It is a weird story, I must say. And apparently they were on the brink of reaching their 8,000% increase in production sales. Which is, good gracious, a big margin of increase for their prices, for their for their ham. Like, hmm. Now, it's, it's a weird story because your first name is Tom, and he and his pig were liberating other pigs from becoming ham. Uh, by any chance, do you have any sort of, you know, connection between all that? I'm sorry, did you connections? No, besides reading it in the news, no, uh-uh. It's, uh, it's weird. But everybody, th everybody, th like, looks, they look at the story and they say, oh, Tom, huh? Then they immediately come to me, Tom Phillips, which is not Tom Ham, totally different people, and they think, you are the guy. I swear, you are the one in the news. And I look at them, I'm just like, no. Tom Ham and Tom Phillips are two different people, two different families. How do they, you know, intermix and all that? It's, it's, it's all over the place. It's kind of weird. I have to deal with it on the daily now, thanks to this guy. I thought so. Anyway, Tom, I would like to, I would just like to have a personal interview with you. Um, just kidding. Because I'm actually sending in security right here through my glasses. Wait, wait, security? No, 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 there, there's really no need for that. No, 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 you, 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 can, you can stop tapping on your glasses now. Stop, stop it. Stop, stop, fine. Let them They're go. on their way. Now then, we'll send in a real guest, Mr. Clayto himself. He should be coming in here anytime. Hey, where is he? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bring him in, bring him in. Come on. And get him out of here. Come on. Bring him to the police. All right, out you go, out you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now our real storyline today is Mr. Clayto himself coming into the studio. Clayto, how are you doing today, sir? I am doing spectacular. Thank you for asking so much, Jarvis. That is stupendous. Now, I must say, there has been a lot of changes to your channel. You've gone from uh, Clayto, you used to be the excellent one, you used to be... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We, don't, we don't go that far. I, no. Mm -mm. Anywhere past the excellent one, hey, that's, no. I don't need anybody else really knowing about that one. Dark days. Okay. All right. Now you did have a lot more videos in your channel. I don't know where they went off to. Can you elaborate on that? I sure can. Uh, the other older videos on my channel, I wasn't really that entirely proud of because most of them, most of them were just like you know uh, these are okay. But the newer ones that are currently on the channel right now, those are the more better ones. Where people would probably look at those and be like, ah, that's a good video. The other ones would just probably they'd sit there for like half a minute and just. Honestly, cringing at it, and I don't really need that on the channel. I guess some things have got to go for spring cleaning, I suppose. Now, um, apparently a lot of your friends and everything have had their own YouTube channels. Big Awesome Joe, Houston Barnacle, they've all been doing their own April Fool stuff. What have you been doing all this time? Now, everybody is thinking the same thing. Uh, I've been, like, it's, it's been, it's actually been cr pretty crazy. I've been busy. Then I was also thinking, like, eh, everybody's gonna be doing all these April Fool's things. Why don't I actually make a video that's actually a legit video, and then people would believe it to be a re regular video? Because, well, they wouldn't believe it at first because, duh, it's April Fool's. Nobody's gonna believe you on April Fool's, right? I see. Well, uh, normally when we do this on our, our own show, uh, normally we wouldn't have some sort of questions like these, but. What do you plan to do with the future of your channel? 
Oh, I am so glad you asked that. So, recently I've been thinking like, you know, I've always wanted my own merch for like my channel and all that. And like my own t-shirts, hoodies, maybe some accessories like socks or something. It's, see it's been a long development and I was thinking maybe I could actually start doing that. So, I've been thinking, I linked a video in this video that'll bring you to another one. And in that video, it'll show you how to get all the merch. It's actually really nice to have like my own merch with all these shirts. Plus, it could have you guys have more time on the show and my channel and all that for episode, for future videos. It would be actually stupendous for you guys. Good gracious, sir. That's a lot of stuff that you plan to do. And all of this is true. As a matter of fact, everything is true because I have been planning on this for a long time and it is now fully ready and it will be effective right now. Effective immediately, sir, but gosh, man, that is a lot of time that is not being wasted. I must say, that is impressive. <clears throat> Guys, we're getting a promotion right away. Well, it is great to have you on the show, Mr. Clado, and I must say, to all our audiences out there watching, this has been another day of American News, and I'm your host, uh, Jarvis Callahan. And I will see you guys in the next episode of American News.